Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of The Viral Podcast. I am your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. And you guys, we're here. Yes, it's been a minute. It's, you guys, we've been talking about this for a long time. I know a lot of y'all have been waiting, and it's here, The Viral Podcast. We have launched. This is it. (laughs) This is it, man. Oh, my gosh. It doesn't seem real. We're so excited. Uh, Thank you guys so much for being here. Yes, um, thank you. Listen, I'm going to be straight up with you. We're raw dogging it right now. Mm-hmm. And it's not our first time raw dogging. <laughs> no, it's not. But podcast wise, it is. Yeah. Like we, we don't know what we're doing. So I really thank you for being here. We hope that you stick around and grow with us and watch us as we grow and we learn and we get better and all that shit. Mm-hmm. You know, so life. Yeah. Do you like our, our set here? Um, We've decorated up real nice. We've got some pictures of Paige's family. Yes. Um, we've got a picture of uh, Rob Snyder. Um, who else is on there? David Spade. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Who would you fuck uh, if you had to pick one? Hold on. Let's answer at the same time. Okay. Count of three. One, two, three. David, David Spade. Spade. Yeah. Dude, I yeah. love him. Oh, yeah. And I bet he's packing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's and get him on. Let's get him on the podcast. <laughs> we have a surprise to guest. David Spade. He's staying clear from Imagine. us. Dude. Um, honeys, I... Okay, here's the deal. I'm just going to tell you about how the podcast is going to work, okay? You guys that are listening are really going to carry it for us in a way you guys are going to kind of be behind the driver's seat with us Mm -hmm. okay um we have a phone number it's on our um we'll give it to you every podcast but it's also on the podcast instagram and you guys call in leave us voicemails we are going to play them here on the podcast we'll be able to hear your voice hear your question ask a question ask for advice tell us something crazy that happened to you could be funny could be serious, sad, sad, insane, anything. anything. If you have, you know, relationship problems, whether it's spouse, mother-in-law, mm-hmm. what friendship, whatever. If something, if you're like, dude, y'all got to hear what happened to me today. Call us. Let us know. We'll talk about mm-hmm. it. If you have nobody to talk to, mm-hmm. call us. Call us. Because the, we want to talk. Exactly. That's we, what we're here to do. We love talking. That's what we're here to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about what we've been doing lately or? Yeah, well, honeys, I miss you. I went uh, about a week and a half without seeing Paige and I was having withdrawals. Yeah, same. Um, it's weird. I started uh, touring, so I've been out on the road and it's been awesome. Me, Libby and Beth um, and our friend Amber, Clayton's sister, um, Libby quit her job of 22 years to open for me. Wow. And it's great, man. The shows have been really intense to be honest with you um somebody proposed right in front of me at the meet and greets <laughs> so that was crazy that awesome means you are a celebrity you know, that's nuts if people are proposing in front of you you're a a-lister whoa whoa that's crazy yeah um Nothing what else have, oh somebody some guy had a stroke at my show he lived yeah He's alive. That's why we can tell the story. Exactly. I w- if he died, I wouldn't have said nothing. Yeah, but, <laughs> but it's a um, happy ending. So we were waiting to go on stage. They were they were getting everybody seated. And I guess uh, it was a couple probably in their 50s, and he had a stroke. So they kind of had to put the show on hold, call, the, call 911. 911 came. Beth, was who's, who, who runs the merch booth, said that the woman was hysterically crying, but not because of her husband. They were literally wheeling him on the ambulance and she was like oh my i don't care about him i just want to meet chelsea i just want to see chelsea she had vip tickets holy shit dude yeah is this real life that's how i was like so beth came back there and she was like hey can you meet this lady before she goes to the hospital <laughs> she's got to go save her husband i was like yeah bring her back you know oh my, what was she saying just she was real sweet she was crying and you know just oh you know and i was like i'm sorry about your husband you know she's like oh he's fine yeah <laughs> happens all it's the just time. a stroke he's good so if that just gives you a little bit of insight to how the shows have been, mm-hmm. it's been nuts. Yeah. Um, insane. It looks insane watching your stories. Yeah. And- well, I'm looking at your little barnyard animals up there mm-hmm. and our goats in the back. The baby goat got killed by a coyote. 
Coyote. Shredded. <gasps> oh, my God. Shredded, shredded. L- oh, Lola no. and Liv told me this morning. We, if you're listening, you don't know my two nieces who are um, eight and eleven live with us, and we share goats with our neighbor. <laughs> you share goats. That was with the you. that. <laughs> that hey, was. You want to share some goats, dude? That was the most white trash thing I've ever heard of in my life, yeah. and I just said it like it was nothing. We share goats with our. Neighbor. But we do. We share goats with our neighbor. They keep the grass, you know down and um there's a little baby and he's real sweet and would come up oh we the girls would go back there every every day and play with him he got eaten so the baby yes oh god bless him. yeah shredded oh yeah dude, i can't hear shredded sorry you want to let's let's move on let's <laughs> let's move on um oh greg and i are closing on our nashville property this week Ooh. I haven't said anything online or anything, so. But people have been asking, like, are you guys moving to Nashville? Yeah. What is it? Yeah, so uh, Greg and I just, uh, clo- we're closing on 100 acres. We just bought it, and um, we're excited. We're not in a rush to move. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to wait a couple of years and start building the house on it, and uh, are y'all moving? I think think so honeys, i mean we yeah. have a podcast together kind of you know hey, honeys we have a podcast we here. just started this podcast today so uh <laughs> hey honeys you have to move with us here <laughs> yeah i guess i have to and i love nashville dude. going to visit and it's lovely dude we're we're so excited we love california but you know we won't land and we want to be able to ride around in four wheelers naked and uh, the, we want some extra money in our pockets oh, exactly <laughs> you know what i mean so um libby's moving with us maggie and beth are moving the I, whole crew I pretty believe much officer daniels is moving i don't know if they want me to, he wants me to say that but too late but, gotcha bitch gotcha bitch <laughs> but we're all moving to nashville man mm-hmm. and uh you're still gonna keep this i'm gonna try to keep it if i can if i can afford to keep both i'd love to keep both and just rent this house out yeah so, like airbnb yeah just as well but we've been you and i both have been busy dude mm-hmm. lots going on yes i'm on a tennis league in vegas and just going back and forth and dude, knocking those balls yeah and then all these platforms we have to keep up on it's so much work but yeah we love it that's why we're here exactly honeys we love it yeah we love it and we love you guys so should we start out with the first segment i say yeah okay so we get some crazy dms uh yep on the daily so we're going to do a little segment called dm of the day and read some dms to you We're ready for it. <laughs> What's the DM for the day, honey? Uh, well, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, so let's see here. I got one. I'm going to read a couple of them. And these are pretty much what most of my DMs are. Damien messaged me on January 15th and said, show us your feet. And then again on April 16th. So he thought about it for a good couple months. Mm-hmm. Show your feet. And then today... At 142, show feet. Whoa. He was like, uh, kind of, each one, he was kind of taking out a word. Getting more angry and more angry. Aggressive. Like, show us your feet, and then ended it with show feet. Whoa. Damien. Damien. Just Google them, honey. I'm on that feet, feet page. We, wiki feet. Wiki feet. You're on yeah, there, too. Yeah. Hang in there, Damien, and go Google, because don't be that aggressive, either. Yeah. Just a Calm foot. Down, sir. Just a foot with some toes on it. Just a foot. <laughs> and then I got one more. I'm going to read one more. Okay. This one was funny to me. Johnny mm-hmm. wrote, can, period, I, period, C, period, your, period, big, period, pussy. How does he know it's big? <laughs> How does he know it's big? Probably because you always tell people it's, you have a big pussy. I guess so. I forgot I do that. <laughs> I mean, it is large. <laughs> Me, I'd say medium large. Yeah, it it's good. I've seen it. You've spread it right in front of my face. Thank you, honeys. Well, I just wanted to get that out of the way because I know, like, like my friends think about it and they want to see it. And I'm, so right away, I'm like, just look at it, and so we can go on. Would you just look at it? Look at it. All right, what yeah. do you got? Uh, this guy should have went to yell. Said, "Excuse me, but what is a turd cutter?" <laughs> See that 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 now that pisses me off. 
going to be honest Why? with you. Because number one, use common sense. Yeah. Do better. Think about it. What cuts a turd? A butthole. Yes. Okay. And if you don't know, Google it. <laughs> Just every, hey, come on here and ask us advice. Google it. <laughs> But he, no, he didn't call into the podcast. Yeah. He DM'd that Yeah, he DM'd. That's different. Yeah, that is true. You you are typing the same question that you would on Google. Right. And he knows what a turd cutter is. He just wants to hear me say it. That yep. sick fuck. Yep. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Unreal. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Let me ask you a question. Are you getting enough? I bet you'd love more, right? Well, AdamandEve.com wants to give you more. That's right. You guys know we love AdamandEve.com. They've got everything you're going to need to help you bust a nut, whether that's a solo nut, a partner nut, or a group nut. It could even be an almond nut. We don't, we don't judge around here. AdamandEve.com is going to give you 50% off almost any one item if you use code viral at checkout. That's right, you guys. You can use code viral at checkout to receive 50% off any one item. Most everything on the website is going to be 50% off and you guys are going to get free shipping. Viral. That's right. V-I-R-A-L at checkout. We want you guys to have a healthy sex life, and we want you guys busting nuts day and night, okay? So please go to adamandeve.com, use code VIRAL at checkout. Oh, yeah? Uh, honeys, I'm excited. Our first podcast. Um, should we get into the questions? It seems fake. I'm scared. It's real, honeys. I, I, say, we, I say we just get in. Y'all ready? Yeah, let's just hop up in there. Here we go. Let's go viral. It's going viral. Hi. Um, I was wondering, how did you two meet and kick it off so well? And then how did you know Brett and Greg were going to um, be cool as well? Thank Not, you. Love you guys. Nice. Love you. Love you. So you want to start the story? Just quick. I mean, just like a... Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I wrote Chelsea... On Instagram. So I had seen her vid. I had seen her in and out video. Yeah. But I, that's really all I saw. And you didn't fucking follow me back? Well, I didn't huh? see your page. Oh. I had just seen that on Vine years ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, we got in contact and we are working on a project, a future project still together. And we can't say much about it. Yeah. They won't let us. Mm-hmm. So we met at the meeting for this future project, and that was in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. And now we have a podcast together. Dude. That's well, insane. Yeah. So they, somebody reached out to Paige about doing this project, and they were like, do you know someone else that would be good for it? And Paige, never, we had never spoken. Mm-mm. We had never met nothing. You thought of me. Yeah. You're the only person I could think of on the internet. Honeys. So she reached out to me. Hey, would you want to do? I'm like, yeah, let's, you know. So we had a meeting in LA like a couple weeks later, met in the lobby, Mm -hmm. went to go to this meeting. And within like 10 minutes, somebody goes, oh, Paige and Chelsea went to high school together. And we're like, no, we didn't. And they're like, oh, well, y'all are best friends though. Like childhood best friends were like, no, we're not. We just met. But they like, by the way, we were like, we connected instantly. Mm -hmm. And we were like inseparable. Inseparable. Ever since that day. Literally. Literally. (laughs) Nuts. And Brett was taking photos of us the first day. Like, it's just been the same. Dude, first first day, day, right after the meeting, Mm -hmm. we were like, Brett, take pictures of us. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Since the first hour we met, it's been this way. Literally, how we are right now Mm -hmm. is how it was within the first five minutes. Yeah, it was insane. Honey's our souls connected. Oh, my God gosh it's our pussy energy yeah and then i licked your butthole shortly after she licked my butthole yeah a lot of listeners know about that um but just a quick rundown um i had said we were talking about eating ass and i said oh, i don't i wouldn't i don't lick a butthole and Paige was like i'll lick anybody's butthole and i said oh really <laughs> and then she licked it she literally popped out of nowhere didn't even know you were in the room dude <laughs> you were like waiting you were waiting for me to say that, yep, huh? Yep. I knew. I knew you were. And she did a lick, and that's real. 
that real life, real licks, real life, real licks, real life. Need to put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, that would be a great shirt. But that's how we met, honeys. And yeah. Greg came with her, so that was a given. And then Brett came with me. So you know. yeah, we kind of have to put up with them. Yeah, they're yeah. not that cool. But yeah, just kidding. They're- Brett's rolling his eyes right now. <laughs> looks like he hates life over there dude no we're a good quad is quad four quad yeah okay we're a good quad we're a good quad shot yeah (laughs) (laughs) all right right, honeys next question hey y'all um love you both two things one i would love to hear more about y'all's confidence in yourselves i know you guys talked about this and a muck thing you did together, but I would love to hear you guys uh, go more into, you know, being comfortable in your body and your skin and just in yourselves in general, because that is some big shit. Number two question, have either of y'all ever either accidentally or purposely queefed in a guy's face while he was eating you out? Because I have. Whoa. I need to know if other women go through this, too. Love you guys. Bye. Love you, honeys. Love you, shugs. So, do you want to do the queef first or the confidence first? Uh, let's just bang it out with the queef in the face. Gotcha. I guarantee other women do it. I don't. I haven't. I, while he's going down on me, no. Never on purpose or not on... I don't think so. I mean, obviously, during doggy, you're going to queef. But that's not, a, that's not really like you're purposely queefing. That's... I have never queefed without doing doggy. <gasps> Oh, really? I can't just be sitting here and I feel a queef. I used to could. I can't anymore. From just sitting there, you'd get air up? Well, I'd have to, if I'm on all fours on the ground and have my ass up, I could suck some air up and and spit it out. (laughs) Dude, it's like a loogie. Logie. Dude, but I can't do that anymore. I don't know if my pussy is just, I don't know why. It's probably because you're in your 30s. I think so. I think once you hit your 30s, just something happens with your, I don't know. With the queefs. Um, yeah, that wouldn't happen unless I did doggy and then laid on my back and then oh, maybe some air was sucked in. some air out there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm going to try it though. See how it goes while, he's, while Greg's down there munching. I'll let you know next podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and then for the confidence. Okay. Here's the, here's the thing for me. Um... I'm confident because I don't feel like I have a reason not to be. I mean, for real. I have one million followers no. on Instagram, so I like, <laughs> just kidding. No, no not, at just, not at all. Here, here's my thing. There's so much more worse things in life that to deal with, to go through. To worry about. To worry about. Why am I going to worry about some stretch marks? Mm-hmm. Why am I going to bring myself down, bring bring my energy down, bring my self-esteem down. Bring, you know what I mean? Like for what? For things you can't even control. Right. And if it is things that you can control, I still believe that because, you know, I don't know. I just, it, I, you try to be, try to be positive. Mm-hmm. You literally have to talk to yourself positively. Yep. And I know people, I know, I know girls are going to be watching this who are like bigger or whatever, and they're going to look at you and say, well, Paige, that's easy for you because you're Mm -hmm. thin. You have a great body. Yeah. So I've had multiple things that I had to overcome, like my big ass nose. I learned to deal with it and I learned to love it. And I've talked myself into telling myself I am unique. I'm not like other people and it's okay to be different and stand out and and Sounds so even someone who is thin and has a good body and a perfect fa- just beautiful head to toe can still feel the way that someone else who has low self-esteem or low yeah. confidence feels you never know what somebody else is like going through you know right. like the most beautiful person could be like right hate themselves on the exactly. inside you know and here's what i try to do i try to liter- literally i will wake up and um tell myself a few things, usually three things that I love about myself, mm-hmm. whether it's physical, personality wise, anything. Um, and I encourage you to do that as well, because we have been so conditioned to think that we have to be a certain way to be happy or to be confident. And that's not the truth. And and the only person that can control that and how you feel is yourself. And so you're going to have to retrain your brain mm-hmm. into not thinking the way it's been thinking. 
So if you're if you're out there and you're thinking, well, Chelsea, I, th- I don't have three things I love about myself. Make something up. Yeah, find something, anything, even a if, freckle. <laughs> even if you hate your legs, you're like, my legs are short and they're this and they're that. Tell yourself you love your legs and mm-hmm. try to try to point out what you love about it. And I guarantee you, over time, over a few weeks, over a few months, you'll start believing that shit. Yeah, and a lot of it could, like a big part of it could take, you know, from social media, like what you see, that yep. isn't, you know, yep. that's... Don't compare yourself to anybody. Yep. And I think that's why I'll post pictures of myself looking not cute. Because I want it to be real. Yeah. I don't want to post nothing but myself with hair and makeup and the cute angle. I post. And Photoshop and like. Mm-mm. And it's so hard probably for kids who see this and think, oh, like, how do they look like an actual Barbie? You know, like they're. Right. Right. It's just so just let just try to re try to try to be nice to yourself, dude, because there's nobody harder on yourself than you. Mm-hmm. Be happy in your own skin. OK, love yourself. Nobody is thinking what they're thinking. Nobody is thinking what you think they're thinking. Mm-hmm. Let's put it that way. Like this big zit on my forehead that I'm like, oh, gosh, it's just going to stand out. And then I'm like, who cares? Didn't even see it until you pointed it Everybody out. Everybody gets a pimple. Let's say you want to wear some shorts that are extra short, extra tight, whatever. And you're like, oh, people are going to think my belly's sticking out. I guarantee you, no one is looking at you thinking, oh, her belly. No one. And if a person does, fuck that person. I, honestly, yeah. <laughs> you can't. You have to also train yourself to uh, just not give a shit yep. about what other people think. Yep. You yep. can't let it get to your head or it's going to mess with you. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. So I hope that kind of answers your question, honey. Yeah, just, we'll probably be going over this for like oh, yeah. the rest of the days that we And that's and fine. I, I don't mind answering questions about confidence mm-hmm. or whatever. If you guys want to get more specific over it. Um, <laughs> specific. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah. So um, love you, honeys. And just You're beautiful. Be, be good to yourself. Be nice to yourself. Mm-hmm. Be nice to yourself. All right, Brett, uh, you want to roll on hey to the guys. Next? Gina here. Hey, so I wanted you guys to maybe discuss some ways to actually get along with your neighbors because me recently, last six months ago, I had a horrible experience. I mean, my neighbors played their music loud every single night, all day long. It didn't matter. They wanted it up. They did it to piss us off. I called my landlord. My landlord snitches on me and tells me I'm the one that called. So guess what happened? They got evicted. I walk outside one day just minding my own business, and then she confronts me, and I beat that bitch's ass, and her man got in the mix, too, so my man heard the confession. He come outside, kicked that door open, beat that dude's ass, and guess what happened? They called their people. I called my people. Gunshots went off, and now my boyfriend's a felon. (laughs) So now I'm living in my sister's basement waiting to try to have a baby and don't even have my own place yet but life fucked up give me some help give me some advice girl hey honeys fell in here <laughs> listen i'm glad everybody's okay i hope everybody's okay yeah. that's okay Ooh, 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 listen, I've got two neighbors, one on each side. (laughs) We have problems. We have had problems with both of them since the day we've moved in. And I've never even seen them, not even one. I rarely see them, but when I do, they're being dicks. Really? Like what? So I I get the whole neighbor thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, where do I start, dude? Though I hope they're not listening. I doubt they're listening. They don't know who I am. Um, One guy on the left of us... um, we hear him and his wife fighting all the time. Um, I'll never forget the day we moved in. Um, we were having a refrigerator delivered. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we live on a very steep, uh, steep road. It's very narrow. Yeah. Your driveway is yeah. very steep. So the delivery guys parked right out front and it was, he was taking up the whole, you know, the road because had, had it's a one way road had pretty much. And um, they were almost done. They weren't here long. They were almost done. And all of a sudden, we hear metal just metal just scraping down the road. Ooh. Our neighbor had taken their dolly and thrown it down the road and was walking up our, 
our driveway. The doors were open Mm -hmm. to get the, you know, and was walking up our driveway screaming at the top of his lungs, move this fucking truck. I can't get in my fucking drive. I mean, just screaming, move that truck. (laughs) So I literally walked out and I was like, Hey man, they are, they're leaving. Yeah. Like, relax. And he knows you just moved in. Right. Right. The audacity of that man is crazy. And technically, he could have uh, turned around and g- gone the other way and gotten in without throwing a fit. So Insane. we've dealt with him. and But then we think there's something wrong with him because we'll, like, we'll see him one time. Mm-hmm. And he'll be like, hey, Chelsea, how are you? Good to see you. Have a good day. And the next time, he's like, who part? I mean, it's like one, we never Night know. Night and what, day. We never know what we're getting. <laughs> it's like walking on eggshells, dude. dude. I hate that. And then the other neighbor, they're an older couple, and they are, oh, Maggie has gotten to screaming matches with that lady. No. Yep. Maggie has straight up said, shut the fuck up. You I mean, it's been, first day we moved in, he, the old guy comes over. He goes, hey, just want to let you know, we have two driveways, okay, on each side of the house. He goes, hey, just want to let you know that back in 1990, whenever they built this driveway, they built it on three inches of my property. <laughs> Are you fucking with me? Swear to God. <laughs> and we're like, okay. Oh. And? And so, so we're wanting to redo that driveway because it's just busted to hell. That three we're inches. Wanting to, wanting to redo it. He has called the city on us multiple times, dude. City has come. Dude, it's been hell dealing with him trying to get this driveway fixed. Yeah. Try, and we've even offered to buy that three inches. It's like a three inch, and then it's like a strip. And we offered to give give him like way more than it's worth. And yeah, he's, he refuses. I mean, three inches uh, for a dick is a big difference, but for a driveway, come on, let it slide. Amen. Amen, sister. I liked that little thing you did there. Thank you. Because it's true. Yeah. Me personally, if three inches of his driveway was on, I wouldn't give a shit. But I understand people. Are you wouldn't weird even about. know. No. And he wouldn't have known unless he bought the house and the previous owner told him. Oh, hey, by the way, sir. Yeah. Three inches of their driveway is you own that. Really? You're going to start shit over that? So, listen, I I get the whole neighbor thing. Mm -hmm. I've never, we've never gotten into brawls. Not yet. Um, Not yet. Um, I told Greg, I said, as soon as this driveway is built, built, I'm going to be just... Flipping them off and shit. Greg's like, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't be starting shit. I'm like, I just, it's going to feel good. I just want to. Let me do it once. Just once. Um, Got to live your best life. But I've never gotten to a physical altercation. Listen, God, my advice, dude. I mean, I know it's hard, but I would never, I'm, when I see altercations forming, I walk away. Yeah. Hardcore. But they got in a fight. I know that's hard for some people. Those two got in a fight. Yeah. She is pregnant. Oh, honeys. Oh, honeys. See, like... They what? must have had some, you yeah. know, some beef maybe yeah. before this. Or it. I guess it could simply be because of the music, but... Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not worth it is what I'm saying. Yeah. So now you're living with your sister. You're about to have a baby. Your boyfriend is Is he still up? in jail? Yeah. Over this? Like, but I understand that your neighbors can enrage you so hard to mm-hmm. where you want to get fit. Trust yeah. me. I've wanted to beat that dude's ass. Mm-hmm. You know? But is it worth it? Let me work it. Put my thing down, <laughs> flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> I was like, wait, is she seeing? I'm I'm not headed. (laughs) Yeah, that's a whole situation. Be positive. I mean, try to stay calm for you and your baby. Some people are so problematic Mm -hmm. that they love the drama. They love pissing you off. They love the drama. Yeah, don't. I don't give them that satisfaction. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving them that satisfaction. I'm going in my house and I'm masturbating. Yeah, I'm nothing. Yeah, don't let her get under your skin. I mean, you're probably not going back to that place anymore. Right. So just, I mean, start over. Yeah, and congratulations, honeys. I, yeah. hope, I hope I hope your man gets out and y'all have a happy little family. And yeah, no more fighting, honeys. Let us know. Let us know. Keep us updated. Mm-hmm. All right. Support for the viral podcast is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is the best in below the waist grooming and hygiene, ladies. 
Listen up. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for you and your man's balls. For any women out there who have came across a hairy bush like my own, you are now in luck. Manscaped has just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. That's right, the Lawnmower 4.0. There's nothing worse than licking hairy ball. Like, listen, I can handle a little bit of hair if it's well groomed, but If a guy just does not give a shit about his nutsack, there's nothing worse. And there is also nothing worse than when you're down there trying to get a straggler out of your mouth. Please do better. Men, if you've been shaving with the same nut trimmer that you do your face, come on, dude, gross, and do better. Ladies, make it right for him with the new lawnmower 4.0. This is a great gift with all the holidays coming up. We have Easter... Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, and more. This would make an excellent gift. You guys get 20% off using our code viral at manscaped.com. That's right. 20% off and free shipping when you use code viral at checkout at manscaped.com. Experience premium grooming with Manscaped. And Guys, your balls will thank you. And so will the people sucking on them. Heck yeah. Uh, Brett, you want to move on to the next question, Shugs? How do you suck dick? Whoa. Wait, what? One more time. How do you suck dick? (laughs) How do you suck dick? First off, I just want to say I love how she (laughs) called in. She didn't, um, hey, guys, uh, my name is, you know. No, she just straight up. She just straight up. (laughs) How do you suck dick? End call. End immediately. How do you suck dick? End. She wants to get straight to the point. Yeah, she's not fucking around. No, she's not. Okay, well, for me. Say it, honey. Say it. Um, I just suck on it and I get real deep to the point where I make myself almost throw up Whoa. so that I can coagulate a lot of almost like mucusy spit because it just helps the entire wow. suck go well mm. because you don't want to be sucking with just normal spit you got to get water the, spit you got to get the mucus spit and that's okay. deep within so make yourself kind of oh. and there it comes and then okay. stroke on it. Can we get a uh, clip of her just doing that for the for the Instagram? Oh no, what did I do? <laughs> Try to do it again. Oh. Whatever you did. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> um, here's my thing. If you don't like to suck on dick, your blowjobs are probably not gonna be very good. Yeah. Um, so the good thing is, even if you don't like doing it, pretend that you do. Be an actress, actor. Because if you're down there and you're like, oh, I'm and you're, yeah, and you're really getting into it, that's mm-hmm. going to turn him on even more and he's going to nut quicker. So you both win. Yeah. You know, and please don't forget the balls. Listen, I know most of the time you're looking at them and you're thinking, I really don't want to put these in my mouth. Yeah, I don't normally suck on them. I get my little hand under them and kind of like. Oh, I'm fiddle. licking all over those things. Licking at them, sucking on them, putting them in my mouth one ball mm-hmm. at a time. Sucking them up like boba. Cause I, <laughs> cause I feel like, I feel like if you don't lick the balls, mm-hmm. that's almost like, you know, uh, rubbing the clit without fingering or fingering without rubbing. You, you gotta, it's, you gotta take care of the whole whole area, the whole process. Get in there. Some guys might not like their balls touched. I don't know about that. I really? get to meet one. <laughs> Call in if you don't like your balls touched and say why. Honestly, if you like a blowjob but you don't want your balls messed with, mm-hmm. let us know. I'd like to know why. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, but just get all up in there and pretend that you're enjoying it. Because he, if you pretend that you're enjoying it, I'm telling you, he that's going to drive him nuts. Mm-hmm. For it's- real. But ha- hey, guys, happy sucking. Get out there and suck a dick tonight. Happy suck day. Yeah, and if you don't suck dick, I hope you get your dick sucked. Mm-hmm. Amen. <laughs> if you don't suck dick, I hope you get your dick yeah. sucked. I hope something's getting sucked tonight. Yeah. You know? I'm sucking you tonight, girl. Oh, honeys, that was beautiful. Oh, thank you. Brett, we are ready for the next question. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Paige. 
This is uh, Chloe Jean. I'm 22. Uh, Chelsea, I'm the one that sent you the Gary D. Bradford vinyl. Anyway, my question is, how do I start standing up for myself to others when it comes to, like, older people around me? I can sometimes stand up to my family, but not much. Um, when it comes to, like, strangers, though, it's even harder for me. I let them kind of treat me like a doormat. Um, how do I put my foot down and not really worry about pleasing other people or not, like, worrying about if other people like me or not? Like, I've actually, like, been through a drive through and things before, especially, like, Starbucks or Dunkin', and I've ordered, like, a large or, like, a venti or whatever, but they gave me, like, a small or, like, a tall or whatever, and I just felt like even though I paid for the large, I just accepted it, Aww. and I didn't even say anything because I didn't want to be a bother. Mm. Um, when it comes to people I love, I have no problem standing up. I mean, I'll fight to the death for, like, family and people I love, but when it comes to, like, things like this, I just don't really know how to have a backbone. And I'm really struggling with this because I find more that now that I'm 22 and I'm becoming more of an adult, even though I don't feel like an adult, you never will. I'm just I don't really know how to stand up just for myself. So if you all have any advice on that, yes. I love that. I love you guys. I'm huge fans. And um, Chelsea, congratulations on all the success of your shows. And I love you guys. Bye. I love oh her. God. She is so sweet. Honeys, well, thank you. First off, I want to say thank you for my Gary D. Bradford vinyl. Um, if you do not know, I am obsessed with Gary D. Bradford. He was a he was a um, singer, a gospel singer back in the seventies, and he did it. When, he started when he was a child, and I randomly came across his stuff on the internet. And um, his vinyls are very rare. Mm -hmm. and she found one for me and sent it to me and it was just the sweetest here i'm gonna pull up some gary d bradford and i know every lyric but i'm not gonna sing it because i just want y'all to hear it okay here is gary d bradford this is my favorite song called good old gospel music there's all kinds of music there's country rock and pop but good old gospel music has got more than they've got it is the sweetest love song yeah by more than banger if we had more gospel music tell him gary all right that was a little bit of gary d bradford that song does slap slaps dude it slaps so she sent me the vinyl thank you so much one of my most cherished items i really what appreciate it? it and her question was awesome because i feel like i couldn't stick up for myself until really? like probably a year ago like wow. 24 25 i started i feel like you change so much like from 24 to 25 it's yeah. insane and you well, kind of like realize like hell no i'm not taking that you you just get enough and you can't put that's up what i was it. gonna tell her she's 22 like i know you 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 think that's kind of older but it, you're so young so much growing to and do. you will grow with who you are and you will get better and i will say this i've worked fast food for eight years mm -hmm. and if an order is wrong you are not a bother if you nicely say hey you know this is not what i ordered my order is wrong as mm -hmm. someone who's been on the other end of that I am so sorry. Let me fix that for you. Mm -hmm. you. You paid for it. Yeah. Get what you paid for. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're a complete ass, yeah, I'm telling you, we would go out of our way to make to make it a bad experience for them. If you're going to go out of your way to make it a bad experience for me, yeah, we're going to do the same for you. Mm -hmm. If you are nice about it, you are not bothering those people. Yeah. I'm telling you. So if you paid, get get what you paid for. Hey, you know, I actually mm -hmm. ordered a large. Cause, you know, absolutely, we'll get it for you. Yeah, we. Are we are kind of the same way. Like we don't like to inconvenience people, you know? Yep. So we totally get it. Yeah. But on a larger spectrum, like if somebody is treating you like shit, don't put up with it. No. If somebody's taking advantage of you, fuck that person. And you just have to learn to, how to stand up for yourself. And every I've, got, day. I've gotten better as I've gotten older about saying no. Yeah. You have to learn. You cannot say yes to everything. And that's hard. 
Yeah. That's hard sometimes. I'm still learning every day. <laughs> really? There's been times where over the last few years that I've had to tell someone no and that I've, I've felt horrible, but I, th- I thought, I have to do, I have to, I have to do this. Yeah. And it's been hard, but you, you know, you take care of yourself. Yeah. Even with what we do, like, we don't have a nine to five job, but we have to get stuff done. And people are like, hey, do you want to come here? Want to come here? And I used to be like, yes, 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 yeah. yes. To the point where I started pushing all my yep. things to the side. And now it's like, I need to learn, you yeah. know, I need to be like, no, I can't go here exactly. with you. Can't go here with you. Like I exactly. need to take care of myself and get my shit done. <laughs> yep. So Chloe, you'll, you'll get better at it, sugar. You're still young. Um, we appreciate your love and support. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. And, uh, and, and stand up for yourself, say no, and just keep working on it each day. Think yep. about the question or how people are treating you and just think of how you want to react and better yourself. And exactly. Yeah. You got exactly. this. Exactly. You got this, Chloe. You got it, sugar. All right, well, I matched up with this chick on Tinder, and we went out on a date. Of course, she didn't look her picture. So. Okay. Um, we went on a date, and you know, we went and ate sushi. Even though she didn't look her picture, I was like, well, I spent money on sushi, so you know, I'm, a, I'm at least trying to fuck her. Right. So we went back to her house. You know, We started making out, and... I was like rubbing on her tits and mm. I felt like a big knot mm. on her bottom of her titty. And I was like, uh, I kind of crushed me out. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I don't know, it's, it's getting late. I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to go home. And she was like, are you sure? Are you sure you're going to go home? I was like, yeah, yeah, it's getting late. Uh, thank you for, you know, thank you for going out to dinner and stuff. And so I jetted, took off. And then uh, next day, I went to work. My brother calls me. He says, hey, hey, man, how did, uh, how did your date go last night? I was like, I told him the story. I was like, oh, we were making out. And I felt like this giant knot on her titty. And I freaked out and left. And he's like, oh, shit, do you, do you tell her? And I was like, no, I didn't tell her. I just, I just met the girl. How am I going to tell her? He's like, man, you need to tell her. I was like, what, what are you talking about? He said, it might be something bad, you know, and uh, she needs to know about it. And I was like, oh, my God. Smart brother. I said, like, okay. So I got off the phone with him. And I text her and I say, hey, uh. Um, I just want to let you know, not to sound weird, but last night when we were making out, I rubbed, you know, I rubbed across your tit. I felt a big knot on it. Uh, just letting you know, you know, in case it was something that, you know, you might need to get checked out. And then, uh, a few seconds later, she texted me back. Oh, yeah, I knew about that. It's a big giant zit. <laughs> and that's tender. And that's Dude. tender. Hold on. Hold on. So, <clears throat> you let. A tit zit scare you away, my man. <laughs> it's a, a it's a tit zit. It's not in her pussy. You you could have still fucked her. So you're saying she was down to fuck, and you let a tit zit get in the can way. You, can you imagine what she's thinking? Where they're they're making out, he's rubbing our titties, and he just gets up and bounces. She's probably thinking, "What the hell did I do?" Yeah, gets a text the next day, "Ma'am, you had a bump on your tit." She's probably thinking, "Yeah, motherfucker, it's a tit zit." <laughs> It's a, he let the tit zit cock block. Wow. Wow. Sir, never let tit zit cock block. Yeah. And wait, was her picture just didn't look like her, or was she completely catfishing you with another picture? I'd like to know. Yeah. You know? You never can tell. No, but he was going to bone her anyway. Yeah. <laughs> which is what y'all both wanted. <laughs> you know? Well, yeah. If you're on Tinder, you're just trying to fuck. Okay. I, I mean, you can find love, but... Okay, so also... th- this guy's out there looking for uh, women with no tit zits. Yeah, put that in your bio. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. No tit zits wanted. No tit... I'm down for anything except if you have a tit zit, and no. I'm going to bounce on this you one. You need to put a uh, no tit zit free zone. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to... I thought the story was going to end with she found out she had breast cancer and I saved her fucking life. Instead, she had a tit zit... Do better. Do better, man. That's what I was thinking, too. Like, oh, he... And the brother was... What a cool brother to be like, hey, man, maybe you should... You know? Your brother's looking out for you and for other people. What a yeah. great guy. What a great guy. Yeah, what a great... I bet he'd fuck a lady I'd with fuck, the tits. Yeah. I'd fuck the brother. <laughs> yeah. We're all gonna fuck the brother. Yeah. <laughs> with the tits. With the, We're all gonna just grow tits and, and just go bang, your brother. banging on your brother's door. 
banging on your brother's door. That's a funny story, though. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, thank for real. you. Thank you so much. And hey, shout out to him for actually texting her mm-hmm. and going through with it and letting her know. Yeah, I'll give you that, man. Letting her know that she what she already knew. I wonder if he could go back if he would have banged her knowing it was just a tit zip. <laughs> We'll never know. Let us know. Let us know. All right. Uh, yeah, thank you for calling in on that one. That was great. When you think of adult cereal, you think of a lame cardboard flavor, right? Well, a healthy breakfast doesn't have to be boring. Magic Spoon has all the amazing flavors you love without all the bad stuff. Magic Spoon has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. And only 140 calories a serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. And it comes in a variety pack with four flavors. Cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. Mmm, I love the peanut butter. I like to mix it with the cocoa. Go to magicspoon.com slash viral to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use our code viral at checkout to save yourself $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like your product, they'll give you your money back. Remember, get your next delicious bowl of guilt-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash viral and use code viral to save $5 off. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring this episode. Next question, Brett. I think we're ready for it. Hi, yeah. What's up, y'all? Um, so how do you guys feel? Because I know y'all get noticed in public. So how do you feel about when... A fan comes up to you. Like, is it cool? Is it annoying? Is there some type of etiquette we got to follow? Like, let me know. Let me know. All right. So for me, when I do Q&As on Instagram, I get this question every single time yeah. multiple times and i and i don't ever answer it because i feel kind of douchey answering yeah. it being like people recognize me in public yeah. look at you me know? look at me yeah. yeah but i love it mm-hmm. um i don't mind and i don't ever feel bothered and i just want to say 90 yeah. percent of the people that approach me they always start with i'm so sorry to bother you or i, I don't mm-hmm. want to bother you and i'm always like you're not bothering me yeah you like even you, you. Um, no, just all the people listening, you guys are the reason why we can, you know, do what we do. And, and we know that. And liking our videos, pictures, watching us, like, you are our supporters. You take, you know, yep. why would we ever hate yeah. that? You Because know? some like, people are douches. I get why they're nervous. Some yeah. people are just asses about it. But yeah. we're not. But we are not, like... We appreciate you guys so much. (laughs) Probably way more than you know. We agree. Yeah, we would never. Chelsea told me a couple weeks ago, if I ever start acting weird or I ever even think about not taking a photo with somebody, punch me in the fucking face. I did say that. (laughs) And I'm like, okay, I will. If I ever bitch about it or am annoyed or, or, you know, someone wants an autograph or a picture and I say no, Mm -hmm. round kick my ass in the (laughs) face. And and say, you need to get your act together. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'll get messages like, hey, uh, I opened the door for you today, but I was too afraid to say hi. Like, please come say hi. We we love you guys. And we're so thankful to even, you know, have a platform and to share what we can. Agree. I will say the only thing I don't like Mm -hmm. about is when someone is staring at you and they're secretly taking pictures. Oh, yeah. So when I see someone staring at me, I know they recognize me because they stare at you in a different way. Yeah. They're not just looking at you. I mean, they're like, you know. If you know, you know. Yeah. And I always make eye contact with the person. I'm never going to approach that person and be like, hey, do you want a picture with me? That's douchey. <laughs> yes. But it's like you kind of just want to them to acknowledge that you know they're looking well i always give them them the open invitation i'll make eye contact i'll kind of smile at them Mm -hmm. but in and 90 percent of the time it works they'll come up and be like you know can i get a picture i'm like sure but if you're staring and secretly trying to take pictures it just makes you a little bit i I just i would rather you come up to me yeah you know then be awkward but other than that 
it's we love meeting you guys and you're not you're not a bother and i know another thing too like you know the social distancing it's people yeah. are like oh i don't know hugs uh-huh. and so yeah. i get to why it might be kind of worrisome to For come sure. up to people but we love you guys so yeah. thank you very much yes thank you honeys honeys oh yeah oh yeah mm-hmm. all right brett we're ready for the next question here we go hello honeys so my name is emily and i have a question for you all right i recently just met someone on tinder and i went on one date with him and he already told me he loved me and he can see a future with me Mm. and says all these crazy things is this a red flag should I step away or do I play it out because he seems like a nice guy and he's just jumping the gun a little bit give me your thoughts I need your advice or just some soccer shit woo you want to start on that I say you should take a couple steps back you know I too soon for me to say I love you on a first Tinder date. That, Big time. And that he can see his the rest of yeah. For me, okay, did he say it on the first Tinder date? Even if he said it days after, I still think that's <laughs> for me that's a red flag. Um but I'm very not I, I don't in relationships I don't care how good looking the guy is, how great the guy is, how nice he is, how well we connect. If there's a red flag early on mm-hmm. bye for me but bye 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 yeah but here's the deal if you guys were like 19 i would be less worried about that than if you were like in your 30s yeah you know what i mean because at 19 maybe you haven't been with a lot of people you haven't met a lot of people you you're a little more naive when it comes to love, love. and saying yeah. the word and yeah what it means and um but also if you're one of those types of people that believes in like you know love at first sight and i'm gonna go with you know then yeah i guess a lot of people have different right beliefs or go a different opinion on what is right or wrong so like how how are you feeling right (laughs) do you think it's creepy did you have big feelings for him when you hung out with him did you feel the same when he said it or were you like whoa 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 boy i think you you need to follow how you felt you need to follow how you feel and i, and I bet i know what you're i bet i know what you're feeling and thinking you're probably like whoa 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 too much big red flag but then the other part is you is probably thinking but he's very nice mm-hmm. he's really cool we had a good time we really connected and you're torn yeah i say maybe go on a couple more tender dates and you know if you're still thinking about the i love you guy then maybe reach back out if he's not already yeah. not already calling and texting you. Yeah. Then, or go on another date with the Tinder guy and see how it goes on the second date. Mm-hmm. If he's still creep, saying creepy shit like that, you know, uh, bye. Bounce, baby. You know, it's like, sir, we just went to Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We just went to Applebee's. Yeah. You know, we didn't, you know, save the I love you for Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> save it for a later date save it for a fancier restaurant it's just applebee's you know we're just having wings at applebee's that's it we just got a two for 20 dude that's it man we just got a two for 20 (laughs) she probably paid for it and that's why he's in love oh yeah yeah, don't be paying on the first date no you don't you don't think for her yeah you think she should pay first date i'm uh, well uh, Oh, what do you think? If you went on a first date with a guy and he wanted to split it, would you? How would you feel? Uh, I guess I feel like men. It's just more of a gentleman thing mm-hmm. to like. Mm-hmm. Hey, I got this. And then I mean, if you get into a relationship later, then split or you know. Agree with you. If I went on a first date and he wanted to split it, I wouldn't be upset. I would be like, because you know, damn, most everybody's broke nowadays. I mean, for real, man. If he can't afford it, I'm yeah. not gonna. I'm not gonna be mad and rude to him that he can't afford it. But I would be if he wanted to split it. I'd be fine. If he paid for it, I would think, you know, what a nice gesture. I'll get the next one. Yeah, either way, it would be fine. But don't be going on Tinder dates if you, you know, 
right. don't have money. Be straight up. I'm just looking for some ass. Yeah, just say, hey, I, I just want to pound that puss. Get on over here. I don't have the money for Applebee's. <laughs> okay, we're good, man. Yeah, Coming well, over. Ha- yeah, because I don't want to go to Applebee's anyway. I just want them to get railed. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Man, that sounds nice. A railing and some Applebee's? Woo! <laughs> All right. Tonight's plans, man. Tonight's plans. <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by Better Help. You guys know we like to keep it really lighthearted around here at the Viral Podcast, but something that we want to take seriously real quick is mental health. Listen, this has been a really hard year or two for a lot of people, okay? And, you know, even us, do you feel like there's something that's been interfering with your happiness or or getting in the way of you achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own professional licensed therapist. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online. You can start communicating in under 48 hours and you may not live in an area with easy access to a licensed therapist. So better help is just a call or email away. You guys can schedule weekly videos or phone sessions. That way you don't have to be in an uncomfortable waiting room. And you can log into your account at any time and send a message to your therapist. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. And you guys, it's a lot more affordable than traditional offline therapy. Join the over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Visit betterhelp.com slash viral. That's better H E. L P and they have a special offer for the viral podcast listeners. You guys are going to get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash viral. That's right. Go to betterhelp.com slash viral and get 10% off your first month. Um, yeah. Next question, Brett. Hi, honey's best from green Bay here. Love you both. Uh, my question for Paige and Chelsea is if you guys were ghosts and you could possess people, what would you make them do? <sighs> Oh, that's a good question. If okay. They were a go- if. if I was a ghost and I could possess someone, what would I do? I already know what I would do. Really? Yeah. I would probably find like scum of the earth people, like just people who are not good people and not normal, not good, but pe- like people. Serial that, killers. Like people that like deserve to have a horrible life. An ass beating. I would find them possess them and make them do shit that would get them in, in, in trouble like i would almost be like karma mm-hmm. the karma ghost the karma ghost is that how karma works i think so <laughs> did we just discover something yeah you i know what that, i mean yeah like I, I would find like you know just shit people and just make them just ruin their lives pretty much uh, make would you make them sh- embarrassed like shit their pants in public and like, I maybe start with that. Yeah. But I'd go deeper. I'd go deeper. I'd like but I wouldn't do anything to hurt another person. You know, I'd maybe like rob a bank. You know, and get them locked up for 20 years. <laughs> so yeah. they can't be, you know, doing the shit they're doing. Yep. I'd like stuff like that. I wouldn't I wouldn't possess someone and what am I going to do? Possess someone and then just sit on the couch and watching eat Doritos eating and Doritos and I can do that anyway. <laughs> I don't got to be a ghost to do that. <laughs> I can do that anyway. Yeah, we do. We do. You know, so I'd do something like, what would you do? If I was a ghost and could possess people? Well, you usually want to possess, what, bad people? You don't want to possess good people, right. so. Because what are you going to do with good people? <laughs> Nothing. No. <laughs> You want to be doing we some d- fun stuff. I just put your, like, clip vibrator on you, like, at random times. Just like, oh, <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do not make those noises when I masturbate. You don't? I don't make any noises. What do you do? Just lay just there? Just lay there. Just. Yep. Nice. That's exactly it. I just lay there. And it goes, or it sucks, huh? You're Mine's like, silent. It's a silent, silent. It's a silent uh, clit sucker. Mm-hmm. 
Now, I don't make no noises, you know. I think I think dudes think when women masturbate, they're like, huh, huh. Trust me. And just grabbing her tits. We ain't doing like, that. Oh, we're not doing that. Yeah, we're not doing Wait, that. Wait, how do we get from ghost talk to this? I like it. Because. Because <laughs> it's us. Because that's who we are. Because <laughs> Yeah, it's us. that is a great question. Yeah. It's kind of a hard one and it threw, threw me off. Yeah. I liked it though. Yeah, I would definitely get give people some karma. Yep. For sure. Karma ghost. Should great. we do one more question? Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, let's pop in another question, honeys. One or two. Hi. I just have to confess something. I have never really been into online dating before. And then one night, my friend was over at my house, and she was swiping away. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try this. So I made a Tinder account. Well, that same night, I had really um, had some good conversations with some guys. And I had three guys over in one night, one right after another. None of them knew. And I ne- never told any of my friends. And it's just a really great secret to have. I love you guys. We love wow. you. So she dudes. was working that system like a three. Du- I'm assuming she boned. I hope so. Well, yeah. Three dudes the first night on Tinder. Dude, she was fucking swiping. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Dude. <laughs> Good for her. Sometimes you just need a, you need a whole night. Yeah. Whole night. You need a good whole night or a good whole week or a good whole year. I love that she never told her friends, but she's telling us. I <laughs> See, I think I'd tell my friends. Unless she has super judgmental friends. Yeah, and they're like, you fucking slut. But so what? Yeah. You know? I you got f- some dick. Dude, I feel like if I got three dicks in one night, I would be almost like... Needing a trophy. I would almost be like meeting people. Be like, hi, nice to meet you. I fucked three dudes in one night <laughs> once. You know? Like, good to meet you. you nice know? to meet you. I feel like that's... I'm a triple threat. (laughs) (laughs) I like it. I think sometimes you need a good, you need a good hoeing. Yeah, you're just living life. You're just living life. And and then that's not for everybody. Some people would be like, I could never sleep. And that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Do you. I've never, I've never done that, but I think it'd be cool. We're living through her. Yes, honeys. Yes, honeys. Honeys, I want to know how it was. I want to know, like, did you be like... After the first guy, the second guy came, where you're like, oh, yeah, the second guy's way better than the first. Yeah. And uh, I, well, I bet she used protection each time. I, I hope like, so, She's going to have to be getting all these oh, se- yeah. semen clots out of her. Oh, yeah, honeys. If you're if you're banging more than one dude in a night, or banging at all, let's, let's, let's wear protection. Let's wrap it up. Because there's a lot of shit out there nowadays. Mm-hmm. Okay, honeys? Be careful. Yeah. Hell, yeah. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I like it. Yes, I love it. You think we have time for one more question? Let's, or? Do, let's answer one more question, Brett. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear Lord. Um, you good? I have a confession. Okay. I've been <laughs> pretending to be Mom. my grandpa's. Beyonce. Huh? So this is me disguising my voice over the phone talking to him as his fiance. Whoa. And it is very funny. Oh. And it is very disturbing. And it has gone way too far. Whoa. Because I don't know how to get out of it now because he's in love with this persona. And my partner knows about it. And she has laughed her ass off listening. And she's also participated. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. They have done. But uh, please give me some advice. Oh, <laughs> I have so many questions. Yes, they have dug themselves in a freaking hole. Like, no, like, I, <laughs> that's not enough information for me. I have so many questions. Well, they are saying they're, the grandpa's in, in love with that person, that person. Whoa, okay. How did she, how did this get started? Yes. How does she talk sexual to her grandpa? 
Do they actually talk? Is it a Snapchat? Are you sending your grandpa pictures of your tits? Right. Doubt it. Hope not. Don't know. Won't judge. (laughs) I'm from Utah. I don't care. Right. I just have so many questions. Like, I wish we could call her up and be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. How did it get started? Did he have a fiance? Did he already meet someone online and like you took over and started pretending? Or did you straight up meet meet him and pretended to be this lady? The grandpa? Yeah. Well, hmm. they this probably is- fucked with him and then it just started escalating, is my guess. Bless but his heart. I wonder now, like, does he want to meet that right. person? So they might need a buddy to step in and fill that spot to well, meet the pampa. Well, now you're going to have to end it somehow. You're going to have to, and you're going to break his heart. Maybe just say that she passed away. No. It's even worse than ghosting, I feel like. Well, I don't know. I don't know, but you're going to have to do something, ma'am. You're going to break his heart. (laughs) You need to hop on that quick before that, before he tries to, like, go further. Oh, bless his heart. I've never heard of something like this. God bless him. Please call in and, like, give us more of the story. Can you please call us back and just say, hey, you know, like, here's how it started. I'd love an update. Mm -hmm. I'd love how often do you talk to him? You need all the deets. I I feel like to give my full opinion on this, I need deets. Mm -hmm. And if anybody else wants to call in. Let's give them the number. Have you ever cat? Yeah, let's give them the number. If you've ever cat for someone or anything, are you going to ask anything? Call us, okay? <laughs> At 442-777-3331. Oh, please. We that didn't even perfect. rehearse that. We didn't. That was perfect, honeys. Yes. Yeah, give us a call, guys. Yep. Call us, and we will have weekly podcasts coming out. Yep. So... You're going to want to call in and you'll hear yourself on here, how exactly. you, how these people did today. And yeah. Exactly. I think that's good for this episode. We're good, honey. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Yeah. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck, fuck what, what everybody, everybody else, else thinks. thinks.